Hello everyone, welcome back. In the live session we discussed about the type of load, how do you find the appropriate information before designing a building. According to the code, we talk about live load, different type of load, wind, seismic, and how do you work with those loads according to the code. Now today I'm just going to show you how to define them. So we define material properties, section properties. We will come to, we'll come back to some of the others at the top, but we'll go for load patterns. Now we said, we discussed in the view, we said load patterns, by default you may have just did. So the one that are required, you have did. We will write the name here first. So this is the name of it. Then the type you will choose is a live. Then the self weight multiplier will be zero except for the dead load. Then we'll click on add new load. So we'll come here. If you made a mistake, you can modify it. Now, if you want to modify, you can change the things and then press or delete. You can or press OK. Now, if you want to go for, let's say we're going to add wind wind so I'll choose wind here then auto lateral load here we're not gonna assign this one it will be automatically assigned to the building as we explained in the video so let's say I'm gonna choose American standard here with many standards you have it here so it said you choose the standard that you have it and you'll add the new load so we'll come here then you have to modify the lateral load to make sure you have all the information regarding to the building location everything so let's say after selecting it doesn't matter which one is it for now because i'm just explaining it to you but for the real case scenario you have to choose the correct category and the speed all the information and gather it from the code as we explained in the live session so let's say that i have everything set press ok now the window is there and we're going to choose Let's say seismic as well so i can just put them e by the way the names the way that we said that so whether you write the name of it or you can just write e according to the load combination for later to know doesn't matter you can write the seismic and then you'll choose seismic load here then again we're going to use auto lateral load auto lateral basically means that we'll give the information to ETABS according to the code, then will be applied to the system. So we said here, let's say I'm choosing again American standard, we'll add the load. So we'll add the load. Again, you have to go modify lateral load. As we explained, there are a lot of things that you can change from there. The way that it's acting, the eccentricity, or you can write different things, add more eccentricity if you don't like the way that you're dealing with. All the information supposed to be provided and you'll gather all of this information regarding to the code, to the buildings, shape, location, in order to represent the real life situation of the building. Let's say that I'm, I'm okay with this because it's for training. You press OK. Now you have the seismic, wind, live, dead within the load pattern. Those are the load patterns that you have them. Those two are automatic, automatic, so they will be applied according to the code we have it here. And those are, we will apply them to the building, dead and live. So you press OK. Now you have load patterns. Well, this is load patterns. Now you have load case and load combination. Load case basically are the cases that you have it here. I mean, this is linear. The way that you are, you want to analyze the building, we have nonlinear linear analysis. That's basically for some buildings, they go for nonlinear analysis. You can change the way that the cases we have it. Now I'm gonna leave this one the way to be linear analysis, linear analysis. Then we will go for load combination in the load combination we said that we can add combination that we want or we can bring auto default from the code in order to generate some some 
combination for us how to add it by yourself you click add here you will name it for example i'll add one of them 1.2 dead dead load plus 1.6 life load. this is just the name of it the name of it i can add it here 1.2 dead i'll add it then i'll change this one to live i'll write here 1.6 and you press OK, you'll have this combination here. This is the name of it. And if you just hover the mouse over it, it's, right, it's written like type linear, linear, and combo equal to 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live. This is the combination. You made a mistake, you modify show combo, you, you can find it here, 1.2 dead load, 1.6 live load. We said that if you add manually, you're supposed to know all the possible cases for the, 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 the four load pattern that you have. For example, here we have dead, live, wind, seismic. So we have to know all the patterns, that the combinations, according to the code. Which, if you have the code, it's written there. Those are the combination. You can write all of them down. And it has will take care of all the combination for you, as we explained in the live session. Let's say I don't want myself to write it down I can delete this one I can use add default design combo let's say I have a, I'm not gonna go for steel let's say I have a concrete frame design shear wall design I have it slab design I have it so those are the three cases that I have it here press ok it will bring for example 10 load cases for each 10 load cases for each this is for concrete this is for slab and this is for the wall now if you go in any of them, in any of them, you should modify show combo, you'll see it here, dead point eight seismic minus one. Now the seismic minus one means the direction of them. Go for this one, it's point and one seismic. So different direction of the seismic, they will do it as well. For example, this is dead live seismic minus. There might be another one which is the same similar but different direction. So for the wind as well, some of them will be for wind, different directions the way that it's acting on the building. So they will come up with all the possible combinations for you because you already chose in the beginning the code. In the beginning, when you open the model, you'll choose the code that you're following. So according to that code, they will bring all of this combination, remember. So it's important in the beginning to choose the correct code that you're going to design it with. So if you press OK, now you have all of these combinations set within the e tabs all right this is enough for this video in the next video we'll talk about the diaphragm and link properties thanks for watching